<laughs> it's Sunday night. Hello, hello, hello. <gasps> Let that hey. It's that Sunday you know. night. So you know what that means. It's bad too, bro. It's like really bad. We hope we just catch up on the Welcome to the garage apartment. Sports and entertainment. Oh, no, with your favorite so partner's favorite cotton. The funky military. The funky military. Oh my god. And as always, no we got the tribe name. in here. It's funky in here, boy. <laughs> Let them know who you are. Uh, that boy Bob Mizzle in here. Big Mac, Mac, you better never hold his breath. Each and every Sunday night from 6 to 7 Central Standard Time. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our new website, thegarageapt.com. Got some good stuff on there. Yeah. Got some amazing articles. Got some videos. <laughs> Got some shows. Be sure to check that out. Those of you who are watching us on Instagram, and what are we live on? YouTube and Facebook. Go ahead and check out 92kels.com. Listen to us live. 92 Kells. K E L Z. Like the table.com. Yes, indeed. You can also hit us up at 713-489-0688. What was that again? 713-489-0688. Y'all can't hear me. Call yeah. us. Give us some feedback, yeah. questions, uh, comments, coming. hate. We welcome it all. We love it. It's the garage apartment. We shy away from nothing. Nothing. So, I'm give it to you one more time. 713 Four eight nine zero six eight eight, fellas. How was your week? Two real weeks left. <laughs> <laughs> that is how my week. What's that? How your week was? It counted down the last four shows. Nah, I'm shoot, man. Six. My week was good as well. My, how was yours? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that boy just hit you with a sound effect. <laughs> yeah. Well, one of those weeks. Fellas, these five things I know are true. What's that? Number one, Kevin Garnett is the baddest man on the face of the earth anytime he wants to be. Yeah. Uh, Uh-oh. Check us out. Oh, first that? caller. Hey. All right. Look like first we call caller something here. Yeah. Early so let's see. Let's, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It, it does that every time. You on the garage apartment. Who is this we talking to? Oh, uh, well, maybe not. Uh, oh, maybe well. you won't on the garage apartment. Keep the show going. Yeah, yeah. let's go. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep so, it moving. So, so on, that, on that there, Kevin Durant is the baddest. Okay. I would agree. Wait, wait, wait. Let me finish my five, and oh, then we go okay. into it. Okay. Go so now, number one, Kevin Durant is the baddest man on the face of the earth oh, no. when he wants to be. Number two, two-time MVP. First unanimous MVP is absolutely terrified of guarding reigning MVP, James Harden. Number three, the NBA playoff schedule absolutely sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, rugby is better than football. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, and number five, Canelo Alvarez is the most overrated First Mexican uh, uh, undisputed middleweight champion in the history of boxing. So, I guess agree or disagree, gentlemen? Well, I completely disagree <laughs> with number one. <laughs> Why so? 
because I was just tuning in. Number one was that I believe Kevin Durant was the baddest player when he wants to be. Absolutely. Th that statement in general is absurd. When he wants to be, why would he not want to always be the baddest player? Because he's However, from Texas. My, First off, he's not. He's from. Went to UT. He means he went to university. Yeah, he, they uh, do keep him weird, though. But so, is it, are you saying that because you have seen Kevin Durant for a month with no peer or no one better than that? I say that to say one LeBron James because I don't remember this conversation much prior to LeBron James's exit or prior to the playoffs I in which he did not had make a conversation. There were some people who had them in their conversation one and two. One and two. I don't remember them being such a groundswell as I'm hearing. Not just you, clearly. A groundswell of people just simply saying Kevin Durant is by far the best player in the league now. So now you don't remember two years ago when he won his first title. I do, actually. When he won finals MVP. He absolutely dominated that series. Do we not remember that? Who? Kevin Durant. We do. He dominated that series. In fact, to the point where I think he was trying to play to silence all LeBron all trash. naysayers, when it was, all pundits, all all when it was, haters. When it was when it was LeBron versus the Warriors. Yes, when it was LeBron versus the Warriors. <laughs> you don't remember that? It's hard to play one on five, bro. Very. Uh, but I was gonna be that as it may, I'm talking about, right now. We talking, he, about, he's talking about Kevin Durant being the, the best the series. I would like to see their the stats messed up between both of them. I'm it's, pretty sure they're it's not hard, that different. It's hard to play. He hit one, one jumper on LeBron James, and it happened to be a very important, very I, important jumper. But I, let me tell you why I say it's when he wants to be. Okay. Because we have all seen he can very easily fall back and play second fiddle. He did it in Oklahoma City, even though he knew he was the man. And he's done it way too often with Golden State. He was doing it in the first couple of games of the first round series until folks start getting on his nerves and actually trying to say that Patrick Beverly, shout out to Patrick Beverly. This is not a, this is not, look, down, this is not a, a, not a knock on Patrick Beverly. Pat but they were actually trying to say. Click, click. That that was a a a competitive mat a competitive matchup, and so what Kevin Durant did was just remind shoot people, more shots. you know who I am. That's all he did was shoot more. I'm shots. I'm Kevin Durant. You know who I am. Thus, he has gone for thirty plus in all remaining games, and his team has been victorious and pretty pretty dominant up until last night. Now, last night he dropped 45. I was going to say. He, he, he wait, 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 wait. But he willed, he willed his team back mm -hmm. into that game. Mm -hmm. That Clippers game was over. Willed Clippers, he, his team. He, he dropped 50 on the Clippers. He did drop 50. And, and, and they lost. lost. And they lost. Now, no, they didn't matters. lose that game. Yeah, they did lose. The, the last game, he dropped 50 and Curry had 30. Hey, hey, hey. People don't remember that. No, that's what, that's what they don't remember. It's the same way with Magic Johnson. Remember, everybody remember Magic goes 42 at center. People forget uh, Jamal Wilkes dropped 38. Yes, off 20 of his dimes. <laughs> that helps. A lot of people forget Magic Johnson had a triple-double, 42, 20. Redigitous and like, history, and brother. Like, Redigitous history. Like, <laughs> huge, like, dominating. He was Will Chamberlain-like at the post in that game. Yes, so what I'm saying to you is. When he wants I to mean, be, wants there's to be, yes. no one stopping Kevin Durant. Yes, except that little it's, Kevin Durant in his head. That has, exactly. That has a fake Twitter account. But and, exactly. Okay, so, extremely you know insecure. So let me, can I ask you this? Sure. When he wants to be, uh -huh. who is stopping James Harden? When he wants to be, who is stopping Kawhi Leonard? When he wants to be, who is stopping LeBron James? When he wants to be, Shoot, who is stopping Kimball Walker? Like, I'm saying, this is what they do. Well, no, no, that's not nearly the same. Because the only one out of those you named who could be comparable to Kevin Durant is LeBron James. That's crazy. Your because boy is averaging 37 Kimber Walker, points Kimber Walker, in the playoffs. Kimber, Kawhi Leonard, 37 points. Now, Kim, Kawhi Leonard is probably the closest one to the most complete game, meaning he can play both sides of the ball. 
Keep who? dropping them down. Who did he say though? Keep dropping. I them said down. Kawhi Leonard is probably the the only one who can play both sides of the ball. He has the most complete game. Okay. Kimber Walker is strictly a scorer, only a scorer, and then he's a volume scorer. And when he wants to score, you can't stop him. The boy put up that's sixty not true at all. on. Him. That's not true. Dame Lillard, when they want to, I'm just saying that's how you put it. When they want that's to, they always want to. That's not true at all. They always Kimber want Kimber Walker can't do it consistently. Kevin Garnett does it consistently. Kevin LeBron Garnett. James does it consistently. Kawhi sometimes. Dame Lillard. Dame Lillard sometimes. Who else did you name? Now Dame James Lillard. Harden. Now, his defense has improved. By far, one of the best scorers in the league. Ever. Yeah, yeah, I'll even go that far. By far, one of the best scorers in the league. But all around game, he cannot match Kevin Durant. He can't do what Kevin Durant does. He's not seven feet tall, this so is, he so cannot that, So that makes him. I have no problem saying that, but LeBron James is 6'8". Yes. LeBron James is, is is right there. That's my argument with the Kevin Durant. If LeBron James was the best player in the, in the league five months ago, then he's the best player in the league now. Now, if you felt Kevin Durant was the best player in the league when the, when the year started, then that's a totally different conversation. I would disagree with that as well, but that's a totally different conversation. All I'm saying is the people who are now saying this simply because the playoffs like you're going to get to eventually last so long and you don't get to see anybody else but the teams in the playoffs – it's it's a, a prisoner of happenstance, prisoner of what's happening now. Of the moment. Of the moment, which is what's wrong with society largely. One of these. Maybe, but I mean, yeah. It's not, though. Because like I said, Durant been doing this. He been doing this. There and if is. you've been watching him, you know he's been there. This man is a three-time, Oklahoma. three-time scoring champ, right? A, a, a former NBA MV, uh, MVP. A two-time NBA Finals MVP. So what? Is, I mean, what you mean? And now a two-time NBA champion going for a third. This this ain't new. This not new at all. But he hadn't been in the finals nine straight times though. Now, th- no, don't get me nine wrong. I am not decade. sliding LeBron <laughs> James. You, I mean. I'm not sliding LeBron James. And However, I, and when I say, wait, wait, wait. LeBron James has also always been in the East. It doesn't matter. The one season he played in the West, what is he doing? He watching like everybody Guess else. Guess what? Because he went to an inferior Guess what? team. No. Everybody knew he was inferior. No, I mean, because he's now in the West. Even I mean, if you gave him something. Team. Even if he gave him something. You they put not this team in the, in the East, they still would be yes. ace at best. You're, you're right. You're right. He was in he, – when he got the West and he got the West – the West – Lance uh, Stevenson's your running The West, Western Conference cl- – uh, Cavaliers. <laughs> exactly. Well so now, exactly. It, if you give him, he, it, he basically has the same Cavalier team. I mean, it didn't, yes, but How when he was on the heat on the East, you can't say anybody could have beat them. You couldn't say that. Yes, I can. Who? San Antonio. I mean, and they got beat, too. Thank you. Like, what you mean I couldn't say Dallas beat them? San Antonio beat them? Okay. Now, don't get me wrong. Nine straight finals is impressive. Not I'm even, not saying not even that's magic, not, not even Jordan. I look. I'm in agreement with you. But whenever Durant decides he wants to be, oh, yeah, he's the best on the. He's the best very, on the earth. It's very easy to be looked upon that way. With in the situation he has with gotten five, himself oh, we got in another caller. As of now, another caller is on the line because. There is. You on with the garage apartment? Who is this we talking to? Chris Ken. Hello. Who? Who is this? Chris Ken. Chris Ken. What's happening, Chris <laughs> Ken? What, what, what you What you got for us? I take Kawhi Leonard over Kevin Durant. Oh, you hey. got your man. I take hey. Chris Ken. What? That boy can't Go say he take. Okay. Why? Why? Why, why would? You, why you taking? Why you taking Kawhi Leonard over over Kevin Durant? I just feel like he, him being better on the defensive end will help you out in the long run. Over, I mean, Kevin Durant is better, obviously the better offensive player, but I just feel like my team will be built on defense instead of offense. Okay, I'm with you now. Kawhi definitely got all around game. So you telling me if you're going to, we talking about in with a, with a championship on the line, right? Yeah. Kawhi was once MVP. 
This is true. Once Multiple MVP. Time. He ain't two-time MVP. Oh, on, ah. on, a team, on a team where he wasn't the first option as well. Mm. Exactly. I'm with Which you. Is- I, again, again, me saying that Durant is the best <laughs> is not knocking the other players. Durant oh, no, is I'm better not. than them players. He's just simply That's saying he disagrees. Him. He's not I knocking was, Durant he's... either. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. So, like yeah. Durant should have been able to do that with Westbrook as well instead of just, all right, I have to have a one-on-one matchup because we can't double team playing with the Warriors. Because no. ever. Because guess who was like, I'm out of here. I know I'm better than all three of them, all two of them. Who was that? Giants. James Harden. Oh, no, he got <laughs> traded. He I was trained. like, I'm out. He I got know trained. I'm better than We're all of Kyle, them. Chris Ken. Oh, hold Absolutely, man. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Got a question for you. Hold on. Chris Ken got one more point. You texted me about it. Oh. The Arizona basketball situation. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, oh, hey. my God. We're going to get yo. to that in just a second, bro. Oh, yeah. So, look, I yo, appreciate Miller, you calling, man. Miller so. is giving us the death penalty. Yeah, <laughs> no, man. Oh, and, my and, God. And, and, and didn't get a ship out of yeah, well, I appreciate you calling, man. Hey, make sure you hey check us out on 92kills.com. I know yeah. you're watching us on Facebook, but check us out on 92kills.com, all right? Uh, all right. For sure. So, now. Let's actually get into the playoffs. So now, those of you who don't know, the Rockets did. They pulled out a win last night, a five-point win. <sighs> hey, hey. A, like, like you say, a dub's a dub. How, how a much dub was the first game? Dub. Then a the dub first is game a was dub. pulled out by a the dub. Warriors. Now, I, ain't talking about, I ain't talking about the it amount happens. of points they won. By. It happens. I'm not talking about the amount of points hey, they won. I'll by. let you know this. Hey, hey. how many how many? How many points um your boy PJ Tucker score? Oh. Uh I don't remember, but PJ was the man. <laughs> PJ <laughs> PJ like did all if PJ scored, did all the non glamorous things that do not that show up on the stat no, sheet. What did I tell you? Need. What did I tell you? No, if he scores player you need. If if he scores two layups and gets two foul shots and makes quarter at three, least two, one of them three. and maybe in quarter three and two. Rockets win the game. Well, that's what I was saying the whole but, time. And Eric zero. Gordon. Yeah, remember he if he, last week? That's exactly what we were talking about. He gave them zero points last exactly. week. And, and they him. lost he by the six. rest of the role play. <laughs> I mean, but I mean and, and I'm still waiting on And game, they lost man. by six. Iman Shumpert wasn't sitting there shooting three. Oh, man, did you see Shumpert? Uh, all of a sudden, he bought a well, shot over the weekend. He passed over, pass over <laughs> most of his threes. Though, because he should. Iman Shumpert. it up completely. Just because you get to the Rockets don't mean you can shoot three. That's the problem, <laughs> if he got picked up by the Warriors, that don't mean you're gonna just magically Mon start Shumper. hitting threes. You're right. They didn't pick him up I, I to shoot threes. They Shumper. did not. That boy Mon Shumper, that wow, that's like, so strong. Oh word. God! And in game two, <laughs> he kept shooting. I was shoot. like, not you. Early <laughs> too. Oh, Early. He was getting on my nerves. And, and he was always the one open though. It was always his exactly. Shot. Oh. He's supposed like, to shoot if no, he's open. He's no, not. no, no, no. There's a reason you're the one open, bro. Yes, because swing nobody has any regard for you. Drive in or and swing. Give me two dribbles. And maybe it's try to uh, last night. I don't know, but do not shoot a three. Last night he was shooting the open no, shot. He passed up no, his he first passed three three pointers that yes. he had. He passed up the first three three pointers. Made buckets. He could have. He got taken. to the line got once. Fouled and made a yes. layup. After that point, hey, you smell yourself then, bro. You can take the shot if you feel yeah, you, can you make get a little shot. confidence. But once you miss three of them, no, I need you to go back to what once we you miss two. With. You're, cool. you're, you're Iman Shumper. <laughs> I need you to yeah, remember your name. So once you miss two, <laughs> don't worry. You, you have your reality yeah. show afterwards. You you're dance good. with who brung you, and it wasn't your three point shot. It wasn't you, Ninja. You was on the bench the last night. Yeah. So Shout now, out to Iman Shumper, though. Appreciate yeah, your defensive help. Yeah, I know. I know. No, no, no. Yeah, that has been a help. And then I don't know who the hell. But PJ Tucker, Eric Gordon. Right. Eric Gordon. Eric, Eric, Gordon, Gordon, with Eric Gordon's been playing Eric, this whole Eric series. Gordon scores twenty or more points. We're in the game. If this man scores thirty points, that's and Eric Gordon should over. be doing that. That's and the thing. He should, but Eric Gordon was a lottery pointers, pick. He's not going to hit seven three pointers all the time. Uh, he Eric got Gordon twenty-one points on seven Indiana shots. Indiana I mean, that's player. how the Rockets are are built. They really built for the X factor. We need them. Him. We need Jerry Green. No, every eight. NBA team needs. We need the role yeah. players to score. But Capella also played a better Oh, man. yeah, man. He Capella like was a, a lot more he active. He was dunking on folks. He's the that, rim. that beautiful block. I mean, that is one of the prettiest. He's got a That is one of the pretty. And I'm not just saying it because it's Rockets involved. That is one of the prettiest denials I have sports, ever seen. That boy went up straight. 
no contact. His hands didn't even move. Like, his and, hands was yeah. still. And nobody knew he was going to dunk that ball, bro. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> That place set the tone for the night. That place set the tone for the night. So now, one thing I did want to talk about, though, did you see how tight the Rockets got towards the end of the game? Yeah, and 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 the bucket. Stop the shoot. The team that gets the easiest shots wins, and 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 you still got to hit some amazing shots. Three's the Rockets. They start playing that. Uh, that yeah, but that's easy for Golden Steve State. Francis. Offense. That's what I'm At saying. Time. That C. That Francis Catino Mobley offense. It was like, hold on, let's turn back the clock. That's where we run into problems. <laughs> turn back. You can tell. The first like, you want to milk the clock? You gonna turn yeah. back the clock? Man. Dribble it out. Dribble it out. Dribble it out. Pass. And pass I don't know back. why. I don't want this now. It's only six seconds. I don't know what happened James to Hoyt's Chris history. Paul. Why he started either. not to get the ball? Like, give me the ball. Let me he at least it dribble up. it up. But that's what I'm saying. You could tell that they they started not wanting to make mistakes. And because they were starting to not want to make, make mistakes, they, they got hesitant and they began to make mistakes. They were literally driving the ball. And it was like, oh, wait, and kicking it out and throwing the ball away. Now, one thing I do have, the issue I do have with Iman Shumpert, why can't he catch a pass cleanly? Yeah. Every time yeah. he's open and they kick it out to him, he fumbles the pass. Because yeah, he went to Providence. He did not go to Providence. Uh, Iman Shumpert went to uh, Georgia Tech. Did he? he was yeah. that, he's that yeah. Shumpert? Yeah, he's that. Uh, <laughs> he said he's that Shumpert. Yeah, there was one that went to Providence. Well, that ain't him. That uh, ain't him. Well, dang. Providence was, uh, uh, it was a Shumpert. He was the big man then. Not the big man, like the big man. Like so, the band. anyway, the series is now 2-1. Golden State. Tomorrow's the next Tomorrow game. Tomorrow is game four. Hey, they, another must. They have Need, to come out. Needless to say, the Rockets must have this one. They have to come out with the same intensity. Honestly, they could end the game a little bit better, but they have to come out with the same intensity, the same toughness. It was it was just a different game. They uh, they played. They would get pushed. They would push back. They they didn't shy away. Right, you can tell they definitely were fighting much harder yeah. last night. They were fighting much harder. And that's harder. what they need. That's what they definitely need. I don't know if they're fighting harder. They just played better. But, how, I, of course, you know, coming better. home makes Everybody a difference. Played. No, yeah. they didn't play better because they had 13 turnovers. Yeah, they did, but they played nah, better. But at than home, your role players play better. That's they, they, played the they, they played harder. They definitely played harder. I mean, I appreciate that. I don't that. think it was a lack of effort in game one and game two. I just no, no. Tucker wasn't trying to get them rebounds like he was last night in Oakland. He wasn't. I mean, trying. I mean, uh, Tucker was going for every rebound last night. I have a general. Of course, we know Capella was me ill. These guys are not trying to play. Yeah. Like, why? That's not what I'm saying. But that's that's exactly what you're of saying. You're just trying. Saying he of course, they're trying. trying to play. You just said, but he wasn't there's trying a, to get the rebound in Oakland, like he was trying to get it in. Because Houston. there's also a certain level. For example. If you were to go play a pickup game right now, yeah, you trying to win the game, but you ain't playing like you got a cunt, like you got a, a championship on no, the line. No, I'm playing oh, like I want to beat oh, this as no. much as I can you're, not to get hurt. Yeah, you're an I'm NBA gonna take player, it as hard so as I can not to get hurt. If I have a contract already, I'm going to take every game hard and won't care about getting hurt. Yeah, right. but that's, they right. don't they don't clear. do that every game. You no, can tell they don't do that every game. They I don't, don't do that, that every game. Tired and lack of effort is two totally different mm-hmm. things. I agree one hundred percent. Totally different. But you can tell they the don't do that every game. But other people were playing well game one and game they two. Were not. Either. Like PJ so then Clint Capella was PJ not Tucker trying was then lost. in game I mean, one. You didn't have hell. I mean, he was playing center the whole fourth quarter. Like was it game one? I mean, come on, man. So I'm not gonna say he wasn't trying harder. Capella's game probably made uh, PJ Tucker's game better because somebody had to box out Clint Capella. Had to box right? Out. I mean, no. right? Because he was on everything. <laughs> everything kind of uh, it's, it's a team effort, man. So PJ Tucker gets put in some awkward positions. He has to do everything. Me. That uh, nobody wants. And, yeah. I so mean, but hey, he's he the Patrick Beverly of the team. Uh, he's definitely the Patrick Beverly man. ain't never had to play the post. Patrick <laughs> Beverly used to hold the post. Yeah, if there Patrick was Beverly a, got dunked on on a drop step one time. Yeah, Remember that vividly. Yeah, but that's when you switch. <laughs> that's when you switch. <laughs> yeah, but that's when you switch badly on defense. Like, yeah, it switch everything. PJ Tucker, they switch put him out everything. there and say, PJ, five. You're at the five. You're and he's like, five. okay. And he's like, what? <laughs> I was doing I a tournament one time. UT, bro. I was what doing a tournament one time, and it was this little white kid. 
and they put him in, and they put, and they were like, "Who you?" He's like, "Who I got?" He's like, "You got 55. 55 was like six seven. And the little white dude was like, he looked at me and said, "Why the f?" <laughs> like, well, do I have 55? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yes, you are listening to the Garage Apartment. Take that challenge, man. We are here each and every Sunday night from six to seven Central Standard Time. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website, thegarageapt.com. You can also give us a call at 713-489-0688. So now, we had an amazing... The huh? The third thing you knew was true. Well, also, I just want to make... Just got to talk about it. We had an amazing quadruple overtime game Friday oh, night. Okay. Did uh, we? I read something about it in the morning. You read something. Read something <laughs> well, about that is, it in the so now we're gonna skip my second part and go to my third part. That is why I say the NBA schedule, the NBA playoff schedule, absolutely sucks. So now, granted, I know things are complicated with the time zones, and I know when you have teams that play on the West Coast that are playing in different time zones, naturally you you kind of have to have their games on later. Yeah, it's a big country, man. But big country. Huge. Even when, Manifest even destiny. when you have a four-hour game, which is what they 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 basically end up playing, the time yeah. elapsed yeah. around four hours, a little bit over. Generally, your yeah. game should not be ending at one thirty in the morning. Nobody is up watching this game 1:30 at one thirty in the morning. Central time. Yes. That's eleven thirty West 11. Coast time. It's perfectly You'd fine. Be watching but there's also there's game. also two thirty in the morning Eastern time, which is what time well, they need to be in the bed. bed. So what I'm saying to you or is deal with the consequences. No, man. Or we don't. I assure you, it. more people didn't catch the end of the game than more no, people sir, caught the end of the game. More people didn't, but your your other options, you know, who should have are null and void. Like what would be New York it's fans? It's a big have. country, man. You can make them play a little bit earlier, Nick, man. Nick fans okay, should watch that game. What time did that game tip off? Local time. Local time at nine. So it's seven oh, o'clock. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, I'm, not, I'm not talking about our local time. Oh, for local their local time, time probably seven important. o'clock. Eight. Seven, seven no, o'clock. Eight. No, if it was nine here, it was seven o'clock. Seven thirty. Yeah, seven thirty. That's 30. perfectly reasonable. You cannot start you can a professional people. game at five. Yeah. Everybody's on the road. Nobody's I'm, gonna I'm be with at the you. game. Like I'm people with get you. off on Friday. Most people get off five, five thirty. So maybe four thirty if you're lucky. Yeah. You get off but that's early. my point. If you're gonna have a weekday game, you gotta start a little bit earlier, man. Especially if your game gonna be ending around we eleven, live, twelve o'clock at night. We live in the Central Standard Time. Or just if be the grown. Rock, the Rockets try when not you... to have a game at seven o'clock for the sheer fact that nobody's there till seven thirty. But so what I'm saying is. Because your because your schedule has become tremendously lightened, right? Because now you only have in the first round sixteen teams playing. They should go back to the which old means days. you can play one game every day. No, you can't have a back. You got, yes, you can, and you can, you can have, have them all at a prime time, and they play at you play one. But you want to have double headers on certain nights. Back back you want to have triple headers on certain nights. You even got them playing against each other on different networks like that. To me, that's there's special. also a CBA. Yes, and there is players a CBA. ain't trying to play. Uh, I wouldn't want to watch a back. You don't have to be back. Game. That's what I'm saying. You only have 16 teams playing. No, most games are back. If you want to do, if you want to do the double header, if you want to do the do, double header, that's fine. So then that means you have those two games Monday. You have a separate team, a, a next two, a, a, a completely different four. Playing. That's how it is most no, times. Bro, the Rockets no, played no. Saturday, it, and they're playing that. tomorrow. Yeah, no, but they also Monday. hadn't played again since Wednesday. No, that's because not you that. have to have no, the three-day no. travel, the two-day travels, no, and then no, it happened with no, the schedule. No, it is not that. But you have to travel. You can't play the next day after traveling. No, it's not that. Number one, uh, and it's TV. Uh, Disney and Turner did not pay a billion and a half dollars a piece to have you putting damn games on the daytime on Saturday. <laughs> they wanted at prime time. Okay, they all right. That's it. Dari said, "Go back to the old school where they play them mad boys at lunch." Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 you want to go back to the don't tape get me wrong. Don't to get me wrong. <laughs> Listen, you want to go back to camp. tape delay days? Don't get Imagine me wrong. Imagine played a lot of finals on tape delay. Don't get me wrong. I understand that this is an anomaly. Catch it on. In fact, it's only happened one other time, and the last and the last time it happened, I they definitely was showing but tape. But it's not every tape West, delay. like you said. Every West Coast on the East Coast, they feel the same. Every East Coast person feels the same way about a West Coast game. We have it better. On the East Coast, they have no chance of watching a regular season one. 
Yeah, that's Especially how they never. We don't care about them. Guy. We don't care about them anyway. So you can't just schedule the West Coast teams on the weekends. <laughs> no, no, you want to wait a week. The, the West race. Coast teams suck anyway. If it ain't the Lakers, don't oh, nobody Lord. care. What? And no. there it goes. <laughs> yeah. And there. Hey, it you goes. sleep if if Portland if the if the Rockets do not make it through, Portland has a chance to beat Golden State, yo. No, they do not. The there problem you go. Is, now you talking crazy. Okay. The problem okay. is Americans work too damn much. Well, yeah. that's true. You Absolutely. go to Mexican soccer games and they they'll See, start El stop. Clasico at ten o'clock at night. And the, the, and, and the, there's no reason and, because Mexico City is on Central Standard Time. They <laughs> so they'll no just start the game and be at ten o'clock. Tailgate because. The town shuts down why and goes not? to the game. Yeah, because you know not? it's not like it. you better be you better be your ass in here at seven thirty. <laughs> your job's on the line, man. <laughs> That's the problem. So with now, America. just to rewind real quick, uh, back to my second point. You so don't now, want my theory on that one. Though. Did y'all <laughs> see how frightened Steph Curry was with guarding? Uh, James Harden, like he literally would not switch. He would beg one of his teammates to come. He, he's on four fouls the whole pick damn up game. The st- he can't play defense. He's yeah. fouling out, and yeah. nobody can hold the man. So why yeah, would so you why, even trip? Why, why would Steve Curry even want Steph Curry? So on why James does he Harden get a why? Man's been getting five fouls. Why, why, why they don't give him no flack behind that? Ah, now well, that's they the don't question. Give Steph Curry why they don't give him no flack behind that? He's horribly defensively. He's horrible, and has and has basically had a horrible. Series. He's had a very bad series. That's why the Rockets need to be. But yet, (laughs) but yet, I have yet to hear that LeBron type hatred. And I'm a LeBron fan, so if I'm biased about that statement, cool. And he got hung. I'm in agreement with you. I'm in agreement with you. And he got hung. LeBron have a bad. Oh, at at a key time of the game. He did. He did. Oh my lord. He did. At a key time of the game. Oh, and didn't have a wherewithal to flip that hoe. Tried to flip it at the end, and it was too late. No, that boy got hung. Exactly. Yo. I do a lot uh, of guards. That's a lot of guards. In Houston, <laughs> Texas, all high school, he'd have been laughed. Oh, he'd have been laughed out the gym, bro. He'd have been at TSU. He'd have been laughed out the gym. He would have been able to come back. Tell him put that in the computer. That's our next intro. What? The garage apartment. Like he's gonna. That should be on the not top ten for quite a while. That should Uh, Look that up. Look that up. I don't know. It's stupid. Uh, so now, uh, well, oh, rugby. <laughs> rugby Man. is greater than football. It's better than football. Hey, crazy. I uh, mean, it depends. Um, no well, reason. I'll give you. No, 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 no. I, American football, of course, and I've been calling it that lately. So I've been hanging out with all these rugby dudes. Mates is a fantastic. Yeah, shout mate. out to the Sabercats. Yeah, Austin, shout man. out What's to the score is going so on mates. now because we were getting our asses handed to us. Yeah, uh, oh, major yeah, league. You see that comeback? You didn't see that big old comeback? Did we? Because I was. Wa- that's one of the reasons why I was kind of late. I was sitting there watching that. But anyway, um, me and Gamal, Gamal and I, and Hadari came, but we went out to the uh, major league rugby uh, clinic, Houston Sabercats. training Cats. sessions. We're doing a very nice clinic for uh, Sterling High School, Houston Sterling, not Baytown Sterling, That's Houston right. Sterling, Houston <laughs> Sterling. Uh, football team. And a lot of stuff that that that, that they were going over was real valuable, uh, especially the tackling techniques. Yes, as these far guys as being were astounded. Safe. They were astound- safer. Safer. Like right. my thing is, you'll never make it safe. Yeah. Not in a context sport. Safe. Absolutely no not. No sports safe. Basketball ain't safe. You're not gonna have sports and be safe. But uh, these guys were blown away by the way we were taught to tackle. <laughs> He's like, "Is it serious?" He's like, "Did they teach you to put your head?" <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, chest? yeah, yeah, yeah." You take the screws of your helmet and put it through his chest. He's like, "Shit, mate." <laughs> Yeah, they were, they were amazed. They was like, he was like, no, surely, yeah. surely. I was like, they no. was like, they have the sticker yeah, on yeah, the yeah. back of the helmet. Yeah, yeah. He was like, he read surely. the warning sticker. And I was like, man, we ain't, Coach just told us not to take it off. We had no idea. I was like, man, that's we mandated. Were, the warning yeah. sticker is mandated on the helmet. We had no idea we were signing over our lives. Like, this is just in case you break your neck out here. You can't sue us for no yeah, more money. Because that warning stick is still on there. But I also asked him, I was like, no, I was like, also, have you ever like speared somebody with a helmet? It is great. It is fantastic. Especially when it's done correctly. Oh, when, when you like speared, when you get that clean shot and it's yeah, boop. Yeah. You know I used to you see like like if you so play sad. Westbury and you, you take it, you'd be like, hey, look at all this blue. <laughs> and I was blue on my helmet, man. <laughs> so they didn't understand that, but 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 definitely to make the game safer, um, definitely when you're not, it, it, it's to to, ta- to to learn to tackle without as if you don't have a helmet on, 
Because the thing is, the thing that people don't ever realize, the helmet works. I played football my whole life. Absolutely. And I never, ever heard of a cracked skull as an injury. I have heard of cracked vertebrae, and I have heard of a whole bunch <laughs> of concussions. It has no helmet on it, huh? But a cracked skull. Like, you, you somebody fall off a motorcycle. Right. You don't have a concussion. The that, head won't be smashed. The head won't be smashed. The is fantastic. Right. The nah, head nah, might not be on cut. the damn body. It might have rolled down <laughs> 288. And a lot of wow. people, but you pick that head up, and it's like this dude here, his head is intact. Right. And a lot of people don't. Also, they, they, what, I, I think they What's what they that don't realize is a concussion does not come from an actual blow. The concussion comes from not the shaking of, it comes from the, of shaking. the brain right. due to your jawbone going back and pushing your brain. Yeah, and see that's Which where the uh, when, well, see that's where the mouthpiece comes in. Of course, when you impact the happens, but. But the mouthpiece comes in handy, too, to absorb a lot of that shock. And another thing they don't talk about in football is the times that your damn head hits off the turf. Right. And those are concussions that are unsung. Back your head on that hard Any part of your head. Which is usually the, the, the blows that they you can't it. really yeah. brace for. That you get knocked out on and you get the stiff arms on. So yeah. now it was an, it was an amazing look out up, there. The, the kids at Sterling, they had an awesome time. They were they were receptive. They I were think they enjoyed receptive. themselves. Footage yeah. is online, man. Look it up. It looked good. It looks very uh, yeah, It's on yeah. the Barrage Apartment of uh, Facebook page. Facebook and, uh, and Instagram. Instagram. They were quite engaged. So now very those nice. of you who don't know, we have also we also have an article on our website, thegarageapt.com, concerning the history of rugby. I'm explaining it to you. We also have yeah, coverage of of our, our uh, of, of our home professional team, the Houston Sabercats. And where was I going with this? Oh, my God. I lost Check my it point. out. Garage apartment, apt.com. Oh, also. yes. Also, I was sharing a fun fact. <laughs> the Rugby is the fastest growing team sport here in America. So that was also one of the reasons why I say rugby is greater than football. And and they're really Absurd. trying to get to the to the community. Honestly, they're, they're, they're trying to get to the areas that uh, do not have exposure to the game. And it's starting to. It might soon be a UIL sport. It might which become a an NCAA sport, yeah. which means scholarships will be readily available for Absolutely. all kids. And then they also have academies like uh, soccer. And rugby do doesn't it. have the bias that American football has. Like, if you're too short in rugby, that's okay. As long as you fast. You because if you fast anymore, and you can drive we... this pile, you can play. Yes. But if you're too slow, then it's not okay. No, well, it's no? not. It's not. There is some bias. <laughs> now, you can't be 300 pounds. I can't lift you up in the air. Not but... three, not, how about a buck 80? You can't be that either, right? Yeah, you can be a buck 80. You can. You just, just make sure you don't, don't get caught. Don't middle. Don't yeah, don't get caught. <laughs> don't get caught. Stay on that sideline. Because ain't no armor for you. Absolutely. R- rugby has, is not even close to being better than American football, as they put it. It has a chance to grow and enhance itself. Um, you kind of got a late start, and there's no money behind it. But hadn't yeah. rugby been around before American football? Of course, well, uh, yeah. Before American yeah. football, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Rugby, still rugby's the grandfather of American football. So what do you mean they got a late soccer. start? As, as a matter of fact. Because as soccer, football, football, they yeah. have been pushing that as the up-and-coming sport for the last 20-something years. Yeah, but they might. Everybody does not enroll into a soccer camp when they're six years old. But, they enroll I mean, they they hustling in a rugby ass, camp. They, ha- they, they hustling backwards soccer. in soccer, though. Rugby now, has they enroll to get, in youth football in my neighborhood. Rugby's trying to get yeah, where do that, soccer is, now, they which is what they need to do. But rugby is growing faster than soccer is down here. Currently, well, yes, I mean, it is. Yeah, what but they it's say. Like, but I you mean, also were talking to a rugby person. No, 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 no. That's true, but that's like saying, I don't know, what new business... Like, is growing faster. like some dude the startup company, is growing we're growing than faster than, than Exxon. The Breakfast Club. I mean, like, well, of course you are. Exxon about as big as it can How get. How much can they grow? Um, <laughs> you got more room <laughs> to grow. But no, I'll tell you this. One thing about rugby is that rugby and football kind of go hand in hand. It doesn't have to be mutually exclusive. It does. There's That's a great a uh, guy I watch on YouTube who's a rugby player who watches a whole bunch of football stuff and does his reactions. I forget my man's name, but... Uh, I'm That's a good thing about right. it that you can cross over. As long and as there's so mutual respect keep your for the two sports, is fantastic. Absolutely, so, absolutely. Yeah, and in Canada, a lot of people play rugby and football, and then they just go towards Canadian football later on, or just a lot of them stay in the rugby. But like you said, there's no money unless you go to like England or Australia, or South Africa. Right, where it's huge, by the way. So we actually we will be at the grand opening of Aviva Stadium. May 11th, which is this Saturday coming up. We will this be out Saturday. there. 
Uh, the Houston Sabercats are opening, are having the official grand opening of the new stadium. You guys can come holler at us. Come check us out. I think you'll have an awesome time. They got tickets starting at $10, so you better get it while it's still growing. Man. Absolutely. And it's a great sport to watch. Don't get me wrong. I was saying it's not better than yeah. football, which is not, but it's better than a lot of the other sports out there. <coughs> Baseball. Yeah. Uh, and oh. they are very good. Yeah. Very good with the uh, libations, if you will. Very, so, very much so. Very much so. If you I'm like beer. Out they good. even have a bar under the scoreboard. Under yeah. the scoreboard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or you and, check uh, it out on, on on TV as well, but come down there. That would be a great family too. experience. Absolutely. Yep. Good vibe. Free. <laughs> so now, first off, let, let, let me let you know, you are listening to The Garage Apartment. What? We are here each and every Sunday night from 6 to 7 Central Standard Time. Man. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our website, the garage website.com. And you can hit us up. 713. Call us right now. 713-489-0688. So now. Show break. Absolutely. <laughs> Last point. That's what Canelo Alvarez is Canelo Alvarez. by far the most overrated. Mexican champion ever. Well, that's yeah. hyperbole. I mean, Happy no Cinco de Mayo. I mean, all our I mean, I Spanish guess we can speaking. say that just because Happy the hype machine de on everything is so hot. And, Who is and another? So now. Yeah, Champions name me another Mexican yeah. fighter. Who's wow. the second? Who is what? <laughs> another uh, championship undisputed? Mexican fighter. You well, mean first, in the history ever? Well, no, 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 I mean now. You're saying he's the most overhyped. You can't overhype. I'm saying Not ever, man. ever Mexican no, he, fighter. No, he's ever. saying in history, but uh, first, b- 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 before the show, he said the man. most overweight. I mean, uh, over, middleweight, oh, yeah, overrated, middle, middleweight. Was middleweight. Overweight. Yeah. 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 So yeah, then I thought was, about that, and I was like, okay, in, that right? was a bit no, false. No, 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 he didn't fail the way in. See, that whole clause was stupid anyway. That's the stuff they used to put on Mayweather, the kind of stupid clauses you put in on stuff. Okay, so you gained too much weight after the way in. I ain't never heard of that in my life. Yeah. How are you going to put that in there? He, I mean, I, I Don't know, make me get to a weight if you're going to talk about I can't rehydrate and get to another exactly. weight. Exactly. I know that Jacobs is naturally bigger than Canelo, but that's kind of the... That makes I mean, no sense for you to have to fight, get to a weight the day before and not have to fight at the weight in the first place it that does but crazy uh, road yes i'm gonna call you fighting at this weight even though it knows that you can gain up to what 20 pounds you can gain before 30 the fight? Yeah, yeah you can, but, get, you can but get pretty big you that's just the that means i just need you to show up the night before uh-huh at this weight Yep. And that has, so that is we so can officially arcane. say you weighed it this is, much. But a man will like be dehydrated. 19, 19, yes, see, but, but they didn't expect anybody to do stuff that they do now Change in 1919. The rules, then. But see, it's difficult because yes. they, no, because then a fight like this doesn't happen. Then a lot of fights don't happen. I mean, Canelo doesn't get to fight Mayweather if that happened. A lot of stuff doesn't yeah, happen. Yeah, but then Canelo fights another greater f- good fighter at his size. No, so it but, like but, but it's not a fighter of a fight that because you want. Because truth be told, up, Canelo fighting. You didn't want to see Canelo fight anybody. No, you wanted to see Canelo, I'm sorry, you wanted but to see covering, Canelo fight Mayweather. But yeah, but covering. we could have done without Canelo fighting Mayweather because we didn't see Canelo fight Mayweather. We saw Canelo swing and miss it, Mayweather. <laughs> yeah, but you saw a damn good fight, especially to his man. No, but that's covering up a larger problem. You saw 50 people swing and miss it. Yeah, but you saw a great fight. Why don't you have enough people to fight within a weight class? That's my point. That, exactly. Don't cover it up by cheating and letting other people Let fight. Let other no, people no, join no, the weight no, class no, that no. shouldn't be no, in. No, no, no. Okay, well, yeah. Cheaters! No, 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 no. <laughs> I agree with you on a lot of that, and, and, and it happens heavy in boxing, but it happens even heavier like in mixed martial arts and wrestling, like real wrestling, yeah, but real especially wrestling. mixed martial arts. Greco-Roman wrestling. Yeah, because you had Greco. guys who, uh, like, uh, what's the man's name? Anthony uh, Johnson. Who really was a damn heavyweight? I'm a homeboy retired from the UFC. He's 240 pound bodybuilder now. Yeah, these, but yeah. he used to go down and fight at 175. Oh. The man, uh, his, he he walked around at 230, which is dangerous. Have you seen the video of him lately? Do you yeah, see how big he is, is now? He's massive. It's, yeah. it's ridiculous. So these, I mean, even Daniel Cormier is a as a light heavyweight. That's right. a fat boy. But that's he, he did has that, to go crazy. He did that to avoid fighting his supposed best friend and Kane Alvarez, which is because they both are heavyweights and he yeah, didn't want to fight him. Healthy, yeah, and it, it, it's it, not that it, cannot be. It, it's you not healthy. It's not healthy. healthy. They've, they've, shown, they've done many you're reports. Get yourself pounded. For for two hours, no, in you're gonna the get rain? kidney failure. Is what you're gonna do. They've done many reports no, on like the effects that it does. Failure, really? 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 And, and a lot of times when you see guys get knocked out, that's a big reason why they get knocked Set out because they're failure. dehydrated. Yeah, they're tired. You remember yeah. the old boy that died in the ring? Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. He was, he was dehydrated. One? He was. I was gonna say, where do you want to go with? It? Yeah, but I know what you mean. Anyway, to to prove my point. So now, for those of you who don't know, Canelo Alvarez fought Daniel Jacobs for the. 
uh, unified, unified middleweight championship. Well, unified the zone unified. middleweight. Yeah. Yeah. So I one guess of so. the seven, seven, six, seven. Nah, well, mean, no, he I got mean, Jacob's belts too. Yeah, he, he, he got, got Jacob's belts. But he don't have them all, does he? He got nah, unified. He got and all, he got but, them all. Yeah, all but the all WBO. But, yeah, oh, all but the well, WBO. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got the design. Making him the first, making him the first Mexi- Mexican fighter to have all hey. five belts. Plus Happy. He's the ring magazine champion too. Which right, is, he's know. the which which many boxing fans consider the real belt. Right, because they truly put the best fighters against each other. However, anyway, the reason I say he's extremely overrated. Watching the fight last night, which was quite a snooze fest. Because you wasn't having enough margaritas. No, nah, it was. There were some moments though, but yeah, uh, it was pretty much. The it. two gentlemen fought as if they were fight as if they were sparring. The way they fought, they should have just invited everybody to their gym and say, "Hey, come watch these guys spar." They do. It's called press because yeah, press neither press right. It's called an open workout. Exactly. I mean, and they neither did, fighter, neither fighter. But that wasn't on the zone though. Did no anything. <laughs> To win the fight. Now, granted, they didn't do anything to lose the fight either. But it was just, it was, it was, it was extremely boring. And Jacobs, to me, in my opinion, Jacobs had a very good chance of winning the fight. If he had continued throwing punches and bunches, he had an opportunity. But he would have had to get Canelo out of there. Because there was no way in hell. They were gonna. On Cinco de Mayo. They were gonna. In Las Vegas. They were gonna. On the zone. That he was gonna win a decision. Hmm. There was no he didn't have a shot in hell. Nah, so he, he was gonna have to take him out. And he, he didn't do enough to take him out. Nor though. was he gonna beat Canelo on the zone under a That's what I'm saying. Dollars. He didn't have a shot. No, but he doesn't throw punches first, in punches no, either, first, second That's fight, what he was gonna have to do to stop Alvarez, though. Because Alvarez, we know he pressures. He walks, he walks his fighters down, he walks them, and he just keeps pressuring them. Canelo wasn't hurting Daniel at all. But Daniel wasn't doing anything to hurt Canelo. So Canelo either. did not win the fight in your eyes. Oh no, he won. It. Yeah, I mean, he oh, won. Well, then it, what's the controversy then? That it's the not a controversy. Boring. It was boring. Oh. And what I'm saying is, so that's take, why you don't pay per view him. Funky, funky Which hot take. Well, I bought it last night. So did Hadari. Yes. Funky, so funky we're hot we're take. we're outraged. <laughs> you subscribed last night. Funky hot I take. Bought. Funky hot take. Uh, so what I'm saying oh, yeah, is, I'm, I'm sorry. Because, because now the certain you subscribed last night. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we meant to say. That's what I meant. Certain, uh, like, like tried. I tried to watch Avengers Endgame three times last Uh-oh. year. Uh-oh. At the movie theater, I fell asleep uh, three times. Three times. At the Jeez. movie theater. That's that 40. Yeah, that's that money, dude. That's that so 40. I, said, I'm I'm making that money, man. I fell asleep. I'm just saying, when you look at Canelo's fights, right? He doesn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't handily win any of them except for the folks that he is, of course, Majorly better than yeah, like marijuana Chavez and and what was my boy from Austin that he knocked out down here? Yeah, that uh, big head dude. What's that just name? just stands there and gets hit. Yeah, oh, what's Lord, that's uh, never Kirkland. Good, uh, Kirkland. Kirkland. Mm. It's not a good bitch. But when he most. fights any real fighters like Mayweather, like Mayweather, like Golovkin, like Pacquiao. Has he fought Pacquiao? No, no, no. no he ain't fought. Pacquiao. No, he hadn't fought Pacquiao. I, I don't. Uh, Number one, he he, he no. doesn't look good against those fighters. Now of course Mayweather he lo- he looked he looked very outskilled against Mayweather. He mm-hmm. did, but it, but 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 against he, Golovkin it was like I don't who won uh, that against fight? Golovkin there was nothing going on. It, now, exactly, it was very boring. One thing it looks like he's trying to do it looked like he'd been eating some more of that contaminated Mexican yeah, meat. Yeah, man, he looked was just like, ripped. Yeah, you've been eating that contaminated he Mexican chisel, meat. Man. Remember, he didn't got in trouble behind that before. So it too. was contaminated meat in Mexico. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. So uh, as a as a it was a, a typical not water a aficionado. <laughs> As a box, not a boxing aficionado. Your problem is basically that you don't like watching his fights. No, what I'm saying is he's not as good. And, 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 and but he, he has, won the he fight. Has all he of won these every titles. fight that he's been in that he's won, right? Yeah, but they handed him. Have they given the, him a fight, fight thus far? They're handing him the titles. Yeah, no, That's what, what I'm saying. You about How Canelo, if he won the, no, against that no, guy? No, 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 check it. I, I, who work with belts. A, I work with a Mexican guy who's a really <laughs> Mexican. Don't we all? No, no, no. I'm just saying. He's really right? Mexican? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he speaks Mexican? Yeah, oh, he speaks, oh, he hey. speaks fluent Mexican. We, we not, we not. Anyway. Gonna, we're not going to do that. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> oh, no. There's Mexican. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Shout anyway. out. Anyway, 
We all good. Viva That's his beef Mexico. with Canelo I, is that Canelo doesn't fight like a Mexican. Orale, yes, he doesn't. He, he, he doesn't. He fights very safe. But those are the exciting um, fights, the Mexican fights. But those are the yeah. bad, not safe fights. Like I said, your best but fights. But that's, that that's, that's what a Mexican fighter does. That's what a Mexican fighter does. Yeah. So, so. But how did that work out for the old guy? Well, well, it doesn't matter because style points matter in like everything. Like you know, um, you know. Chavez. Mexicans well, yeah, got Chavez. chins, man. I mean, he got I, a chin. He ain't gonna fall. Like the real reason nobody is talking about this fight is because it was Daniel Jacobs. Right. It's because it was Daniel Jacobs. It was truly a snooze fest. If he were to go out there and fight like that against a real fighter, people would have so, an issue. So my next question would be, we already discussed that Daniel Jacobs clearly wasn't in his weight class. So he had to go out and find this guy who was a champion, who had apparently multiple belts. So who was he supposed to fight? Who else can he fight? That's the question. Well, that's well, a my, sad, boy no, needs, no, no. Sad, my boy Ralpho needs. My boy need to come fans. on with it, man. No, come on, Ralpho. No, he's gonna fight I'm Golovkin again. I yeah, mean, that's I, what yeah, it's, gonna it's be. another Golovkin fight. It's gonna be another Golovkin that fight. In that three? Sense. Yeah, that yeah, would be number three. Because that's That'd gonna be make number three, and it's and it's one to one. No, it's it's, it's, it's one one. one, one. one. Well, I know it's and a draw. So why did he even pick this one? It's a draw, and it's and because he needed to fight somebody for Cinco de Mayo, and Golovkin is not trying to do it then. I don't know. I, I wouldn't want to do it with against Canelo then, in unless Las I Vegas, know I'm gonna knock him out. Like, you know what I'm I mean, hey, unless I'm Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather. Oh, but yeah. Golovkin is then I big. Wear my sombrero. No, but Golovkin is very popular. Among, I mean, I, of course they're not gonna pick him over an actual Mexican citizen, but Golovkin's very popular amongst Mexican uh, boxing fans. Very popular. His home base is at, is L.A. Golovkin, and he fights at the Staples Center, so. It just sounds to me like it ain't a bunch of damn Dagestanians the going there either. Which is a lot of what I heard about Floyd Mayweather from other types of people. Now, those other people, people were crazy because it's and if so, you enjoy the sweet science of boxing, then you enjoyed Floyd Mayweather. Absolutely. So what Canelo, Canelo does, what is he doing? Literally running? What, no, 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 he's not running. Okay, last night both fighters fought very safe. Okay, now Canelo started off, um, I don't know what, yeah, he started off winning. They gave Daniel Jacobs, I think, the third round, and I guess he won that. But Canelo, I mean, there were some punches exchanged. Nobody moved. Canelo's head movement was excellent. It, n- it, now that it was. He looked Mike Tyson-esque, Mike Tyson-esque yes. with, his head, with his head movement. I mean, that, that, that's the closest person I can compare him to in that. As far as head movement goes. Yeah, as far it. as his head movement goes. <laughs> that's it. That's but, it. That's that's it, that's it. <laughs> and they, Let's not go further than that. No, nah, but they had some good exchanges. In my opinion, but I mean, to me, Daniel J. It was that was on Daniel Jacobs, man. Daniel Jacobs, you got to throw. You know, you're losing, boy. What are you doing? Yeah. What, what are you doing? And, sitting and like there, said, like, like you. And winning. he should have known in Las Vegas on Cinco de Mayo weekend, he ain't have a shot in hell in a decision. You got to go get that. Yeah, you got to go get that. Like now, Ralph, like, was, like Ralph was said. Yeah, you, you don't want to leave it in the real hands. Yeah, you might not have a chance, bro. Just go ahead and. Ah, well. Yeah, I don't want to say it like that. You know, you want to you know if you go to the court, it's out of your hands. That's what he says. Excuse Very me. Very much so, it is. It's out yeah. of your hands. And we so. know how we know how that one went. <laughs> well, that's, that's a, right. My boys go. He's got a rematch all. coming up June first. Yes, we will sir. also be there yes, at the where we will be. It's uh, going to be at Houston? the Shriners, Shriners something on Harlan, the Houston yeah. Shriners. Oh man, come down there, watch the fight, get a shirt. Yeah, come holler at get us. We'll joy. be there June first. Ralph, our, our boy Ralpho, uh, Ibokwe, oh, oh. Ibokwe, oh, <laughs> Rafael Ibokwe. Yeah. Uh, will be fighting uh, Katan. I mean, uh, what is it? Atan. What was Gatan. it? Gatan. Gatan. Once again. So now, last five minutes. So of course we're gonna get this to to the to the to the University of Arizona basketball team. Ah, the great. Due hey. to our good, because we have what we call at a, a Letterman from Ooh. the University of Arizona here. Hey. So he can speak to the to the to the, the, to the department. And the I guess integrity. the environment, the pride. <sighs> I'm so disappointed. The... <laughs> oh, really? It's, it's not even really. It's, I've I've already had our funeral. Oh lord! I I visited the cell where they hooked us up to the needle. <laughs> like this dude is going to give us the death penalty. <laughs> Honestly, it, it's so. This question, Shout out to the 96, 97 <laughs> Wildcats. I, I who, can't who, stop laughing. Who, of course, didn't do anything <laughs> wrong. Nothing and wrong. probably never took a Mind dime. You. No. Remind no, you. No, that was a great Jamal literally hates 
everyone Everybody. from Arizona State, i.e. James Harden, <laughs> and anyone else because of his love for UCLA. the University of Arizona. And if you remember one or two shows ago, he was basically slandering Coach K <laughs> for being dirty, saying that everybody <laughs> okay, so does yes. it. And now I see why. <laughs> Because his coach is the ringleader. But that is my that is a point. Why just Arizona? Come on, you said you had all these other people. Why now? Because just Arizona? Bro, he ring. obviously was not paying the right people. No, so now, wrong. those of you who don't know, he was no, he's with paying it, the right no, person. That's the wrong question. You take the low hanging fruit. The bro. right question is: What the hell is the FBI doing involved? Why? Th- 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 this is so stupid. You're enforcing a NCAA policy. Which is dumb in the first place. Not I mean, lot. it's funny. Not ha, 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 Arizona. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But what? The, who got hurt? Arizona. My what is the crime? Toys. Is there a victim? No, it's not. He's trying to move Who was the first. victim? The in one that got hurt was the one. It was the coach. The one they mad. The one but, that they trying to no, 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 get. No, 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 no. As a result, because he this was coach paying is, ten thousand a month. Yeah, the one which that got hurt one was the dude who change. didn't get the scholarship who change. had to walk on yeah. cuz they paid for DeAndre Ayton to come to the school no, and no. his whole mama and and daddy and cousins and baby mamas to come to the Arizona as well. No, you going to get that man baby mamas? Well, no, but see, <laughs> whole family again, kid. again, again, that's an NCAA problem that they only allow oh, I agree with that completely. damn scholarships. I agree with for that. They enforcing that a lot. That makes all this money. Okay, when the University of Arizona has a private uh, has a booster club that could fund all those damn, could fund 15, 16, 20 scholarships. <laughs> okay? They could. They just don't, they won't let them. Won't all let right? them. Now, Willing uh, to do it. The, the, the policy is dumb. In the, it's just stupid. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> the fact that the FBI I love my boy is involved Cake for us, man. And, 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 and a kid getting $10,000 a month. That's it. Taken away from the coach's damn shoe contract. You know, not the, co- it, the coach wasn't even hitting his real money. <laughs> that's right. his side, 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 side money. Right. right. Okay, that's, 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 not, counting, money. that's that was, not counting. Uh, that's not counting. That's money right uh, there. A greater Tucson uh, Ford Literally. trucks contract money. he got, and the, the, the free truck that's he drives. Money from the players, based off though, of whoever gives him a free truck. It's not based off the free food that some bitch gets Whoa. in Tucson. <laughs> some, man, get out of here. My boy feeling good. good. Now, now, I agree with the mod. It is that a is poor crazy. rule to be enforcing. However, no, it's still a rule. You enforcing rules the just for the sake of having damn rules. In which they did it is absurd. Man, get out of here. They should have cut that it's out a long absurd. time ago. He deserves to be fired. Why did not bring it up his dating stuff? Did he not do this at Dayton? Did he just get the Arizona and be like, Same. oh, wow, I got he money. He didn't have a shoe contract. I was say, he didn't have a Nike contract at Dayton. He had a Nike contract. Not at Dayton. They got a Nike contract at UTSA. You going to tell me Dayton can't get a Nike contract? But you sitting up so, here. So, wait a minute. So, so and when UTSA coach paying $3,000 a month. TSU got a Nike contract, right? No, no when TSU is with Adidas. Uh, Under uh, the Armour. When Coach K is paying $20,000 a month to these kids. the shoes gets hung. And Coach K wait, should whoa, be whoa, able whoa, to. Whoa. Allegedly. First yeah, off, hold allegedly. on, watch yourself. Yeah, you First off, suit. second off, they never said okay, Coach allegedly. K paid anything. Yeah. They said literally, Archie Manning is on tape, bro. Handing Archie money. Manning. Oh, Arthur, you're right. Excuse me. Archie Gr- Miller. Miller. I was going to say Griffin. That was going to be even worse. <laughs> Archie Miller is on tape handing people, talking about giving people money. They're talk- they have other people on tape talking about giving him specifically the money. Man, you can't even buy Coach K's not that dumb. The the, the problem is ten thousand dollars a month. If he had bought this dude a smoothie from Smoothie King on five dollar Friday, it would have been the same damn penalty. Got caught too. Stop playing with me, man. This man, is well look here. We're gonna have to leave it there, man. <laughs> right. now, as usual, we try to get it God all bless. in, man. You are listening to the garage apartment. <laughs> name of God bless we are truth. here each and every Sunday night from six to seven Central Standard Time. Be it sure to follow hot, us man. on Instagram, Speaking Twitter. Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel and check burger. out our website, thegarageapt.com. Yeah, subscribe to the website. Absolutely. Yeah, please do. More articles are coming. I'm going to do my article on Screwball. I know I've been talking about it. 92kills.com. Okay. And, uh, yeah, yeah, we're 92 kills. Always. We're we going to do one about the Sterling kids. At, at, yeah, at the we're, we're talking about the grassroots of the yeah. community and, service uh, of rugby. 